Well, as you know, I cover the business of celebrity, but I'm sitting next to a quintessential businessman that is a Thank celebrity you, businessman. His name is Damon John. You recognize him from the show Shark Tank, which is a hit show. And also, he is the founder of FUBU, the legendary fashion line that continues uh, to be prominent today. You started a lot of this celebrity branding thing and cross-branding into fashion and all of that. Um, what do you think about how far it's come now? You know, I love it. I think that uh, what FUBU stood for and what it stands for today it was for us, by us, and it wasn't about a color, it was about a culture. It was about empowering the people who were creating these assets and creating this, this movement. And now today, as you see, whether it's a an artist that is selling anything from vodka to apparel to just a way of life, a magazine, they should be the ones that are in charge of the destiny because they help create this movement. It's right. no longer it's the, the make it, they'll come from the outside guys. It's the people who actually are living the life. So I love it. I love where we're at today. And a lot of the people that sit in this chair uh, are so ecstatic about the different ancillary brands yes. that they have shooting off of the brand that they've built from being a singer or an athlete sure. or whatever. But you didn't have that. You weren't a celebrity when you came in. So no. was it that much harder to launch your business? It was extremely hard to launch my business, but it was also, I was doing something that I loved. It was a passion. So think about it. I was on video sets for four or five years sitting there all day waiting for somebody to please wear my shirt and then sometimes they would say get out of here but guess what i would have paid to be on those video sets to hang out and do that i would have paid to see people wear my clothes i would have been doing fubu today whether i made a dime or not because i was doing what i loved how do you think uh, you know fubu of course um, really hailed as an urban brand yeah uh, but it really crossed over um, sure but in the process you really touched a lot of young people Yes. To be entrepreneurs. Right. Do, did you see that firsthand? I saw it firsthand. You know, there would be people who walk up to me with tears in their eyes and say, I didn't believe that I can empower myself, young and old, and people who want to have a bakery or be an accountant. And they just never thought that they could do it themselves. And so that's what FUBU did. It opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people. And then the celebrity friends of mine, everybody after that decided they wanted a clothing line, they wanted a record label, wanted something else. But at least they stopped becoming just talent. Right. And they started to empower themselves. Because it's one thing to say, I want yes. my own vodka, I want, and, but we've seen so many celebrities that have done it, but they haven't done it well. Right. Well, you know, that happens because they think, a lot of people think that it can easily be done, and it's not. You have to educate yourself. You know, there's an the old saying that the only thing that costs more than education is ignorance. And a lot of times the celebrities and the athletes unfortunately make bad investments and think it could just be done easily. But if you are the guys, like the Jay-Z's, like the Russell's, like the Puffs of the world, that work twice as hard to progress, then you will get somewhere if you're somebody. You have to educate yourself. And you actually help these uh, young men and women do this. Uh, you had uh, Pitbull come in to yes. see me. Uh, he is a very, very astute business person. How do you pick the people that you want to align with? Uh, well, you know what? That we have to be on the same page. You know, somebody like a pit bull. When uh, when Pitt and I sit, you know, I I learn just as much from him as he does from me. Um, I know that he is a, a, a fluid person, a thinker, a strategist, and I work with several other people like CeeLo and Little John and, and Vanessa Simmons, a lot of these people, we have to be on the same page. Because a lot of these guys, they're like on the first date, they tell you they want to change the world, then all of a sudden they're late to the meetings, they don't show right. up, they're, they're going to drink a champagne, they're just doing it for showtime. But when I see somebody that I like and I love to work with, I'm happy and I, and I know that we have a strategy and we're going to do the best we're going to do. Uh, your show Shark Tank uh, is one of those shows that really helps people that have startups get that capital that they need. But you're brutal with a lot of these people. Well, you know, a lot of people do call us uh, sh with sharks. We are brutal, but we're not really brutal with the people. You have to think about it. This is our own money. I'm going to spend each season up to two million dollars in companies. And nobody comes up there and says, I promise I'm going to take all the money and go on a vacation and right, lie to you, right? right? You have to vet these people and you have to go through it. But the real reason with Sharks is I like to take Mark Cuban, I like to take him to the edge on a deal, stab him in the back, and make a profit. That's why we're Sharks, because we fight amongst each other. And you basically are putting up a lot of your own capital yeah. to do this. We're putting up a lot of capital, a lot of resources. We are actually working with these people. You know, we're going to lose about 90% of the time, but all you need is one hit. 
uh, it's funny because you help celebrities with their brands, but then you're a celebrity yourself. Um, being on this show, um, it's probably provided a lot of opportunities uh, for you to do your own businesses. Public speaking is one of them. It has, you know, um, and you know, some people call me a celebrity. I like to say that I'm a notable person. 95% uh, of the celebrities that I know, I tend to not want to work with because they're like babies. I'm not talking about the pits or the silos. Those are the, those are the rare or the LL right. Cool J's. So I like to say I'm a notable person. But yes, you know, I, I try to share my story with um, with a lot of people speaking in books and uh, things of that nature. I advise companies. I'm an ambassador to several companies and strategists to companies. So it's, it's done great for me for a public platform because as a FUBU guy, people used to only think of me as the guy with the baggy jeans and gold teeth who are gonna come in there and start break dancing. Right. When they s see me on this major platform, they realize, no, 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 no matter what generation or culture you're in, you can be a businessman and be sharp at what you do. And it's funny because when people realize uh, the potential of a lot of these things and realize that a lot of these celebrity brands are multi-millionaires yeah. and approaching billionaires, then they want a piece of it. Yeah. But authenticity is not something that can be bought. It is not. You know, you look at the people that are, uh, you know, the, the artists that transcended into our business and became great fashion guys. Diddy and Jay-Z were fashionable before they had a line. Right. You, there's another, you know, another 50 guys that failed because they tried to just slap their name on a product. The easiest thing to sell is the truth. Other than that, now today with the social media, transparency, you're going to die if you're not really the same exact person as your brand is. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about? You have so many ventures. Right now. I'm most excited about tech. Um, you know, I, I made it an agenda to go into the tech world. My first foray there was a deal that I did with Mark Cuban on, um, on the show called Easy VIP. And the update, the finale of Shark Tank, I'm going to bring a major celebrity to it. And um, I started becoming the ambassador of Shopify. Okay. I also am a strategist and ambassador of Ticket Leap. And I have a new uh, search engine, real, uh, you know, uh, actual time search engine called Resultly. Now what I'm doing is, I'm doing exactly what I do with FUBU. I am taking the coolness of celebrity, lifestyle, trends, and bringing it over to Silicon. I'm matching that up with, you know, technology brands, and I'm making them cool. Because technology, they have money, and they have access. But right. they need cool. So the geeks right. that are cool geeks are right. now going to be cool geeks with celebrities, and we're going to push this out <laughs> to the world, and everybody's going to be and happy. So, uh, and how does that work? I mean, how do you marry a celebrity like CeeLo with someone like a... Bill Gates. Well, you look at it like this: Easy VIP that we did this on the deal on on the show. It was basically the the open table for nightclubs, right? Okay. So this huge celebrity that I have now, who's going to be the face of it, we're going to make Easy VIP more like an Orbitz, a Travelocity, and make instead of a William Shatner, you're going to have somebody that is a worldwide global uh, party yeah. person. Not that William Shatner is bad, but not that William. Sh no, he hits it. William Shatner is the best. Think yeah, about him. He's been doing it for 40 years. Right, right. I still practice my uh, Captain Kirk kicks now and then, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is I'm going to make it for a new generation, right, right. And, and I'm going to marry that. And that's going to be my first shot at it, and you're going to watch me knock him down with great guys. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, are you prepared to tell us, because we have the big premiere of Shark Tank coming up, are you prepared to tell us who's going to be the big celebrity on the show? I am. I Who am. is it? I'm going to break it here the with you. Drum roll. It's going to be your man, Mr. Worldwide, a.k.a. Pitbull, a.k.a. 305. Well, he would be, a, Pitbull would be the ideal person because... Mr. Worldwide. He's worldwide, and when you talk to him about his business, he thinks in those terms. He's That's not right. just a domestic thinker. That's right. So now if you want to go to Ibiza, you're going to go to Easy VIP because Mr. Worldwide is going to show you the best way and the easiest way to get access to all of Ibiza. Okay. Hotel, cars, everything, parties, everything else. Right. And that's how you marry cool with technology. Well, because a lot of the young people out there that are coming into, you know, their first and second job, they may they, not even know William Shatner. They don't know William Shatner necessarily. And maybe, you know what, they probably are not listening to William Shatner's music. Right. Most likely. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, if there's one person that's in touch with what they are listening to and how to make some uh, revenue off of that, that's you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank you Damon for having John. me. I appreciate it. You do a great job, man. Thanks so appreciate much. Appreciate it. And with Damon John, I'm Lee Hawkins. We'll see you next time.